the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 73, Joshua 6-8 The Power of Sound Israel was able to confirm the truth that victory belongs to God through various battles, including the battle against the city of Jericho. First point. The first battle to conquer Canaan started with seven priests, seven trumpets, and seven days. God told Joshua exactly how he was to lead the Jericho battle. The first battle in conquering Canaan was Jericho and God gave instructions which no one could even have imagined. This was for seven priests to take seven trumpets and to walk around the walls of Jericho for seven days. The reason for the number seven was to symbolize God's creation process. God through this showed the people that they were his possessions. This method of seven priests and seven trumpets can be seen again in Revelation. The reason why Joshua had selected Jericho as the first step in conquering Canaan was due to its geographical location near the Jordan River and its close proximity to the heart of Canaan. Second point, no weapons but the sound of a trumpet knocked down Jericho. Among the different wars, siege warfare can be seen as the most difficult as the task involved invading a place where people were still living inside. In order to take over where someone is living, it requires triple the amount of tools and preparation. Jericho was particularly more difficult as it was tightly sealed with no one going inside. Now the gates of Jericho were securely barred because of the Israelites. No one went out and no one came in. But God's plan was for the Israel nation to knock down their walls with the sound of the trumpets. To look briefly into sound power, the walls of Jericho came down with the sound of the trumpet and the sound of the people shouting. Sound power has been proven in history to destroy bridges as well as breaking down walls. The process of Jericho falling involved four steps. The first was for the Israel nation to all shout together on the seventh day. The second was the people to offer the goods inside to God and for them to kill all the people and their animals. The third was for the people to take the gold, silver, and bronze to God. The fourth was to save Rahab and her family. Third point, Adam's poor judgment was repeated by many others. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Due to this, Adam and Eve had to leave the Garden of Eden. We can continue to see how man continued Adam's poor judgment. An example is during the Battle of Ai, where Achan's sin caused trouble. Due to this, Achan was unable to receive his land by the casting lot method and instead was put to death. First point. The second conquering of Ai took place in three ways. Following from the Battle of Jericho was the Battle of Ai and Joshua 
devised three steps. The first was ambush. The second was luring. The third was for everyone to move together. This was likely Joshua's initial plan for the Battle of Jericho. But the first battle was instructed by God, which Joshua obeyed. And the Battle of Ai also finished in victory. And this time, differently to Jericho, the people were allowed to take their spoils. If Akan had been a little more patient, he would have been able to enjoy life a little longer. Fifth point. God recited his laws on Mount Sinai. Moses then read aloud God's laws on the outskirts of Moab, and Joshua read aloud God's laws in Gerizim and Ebal. On Mount Sinai, a kingdom of priests became established, and to this, God responded with his voice. Forty years from then, the people stood on the outskirts of Moab and read aloud the laws. Read by Joshua, this time all the women and children read aloud with the men. As such, God's laws were given by God's voice, recorded by Moses, read aloud by Moses, and then read aloud by Joshua. Thus, the Bible is the one book worth reading aloud. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.